Bom dia, Portugang. To the bime, this is five reasons why Portugal is better than Spain. Ace good, ace good, ace good, ace good. Something I see on expat forums on Facebook all the time is the question, why did you choose Portugal over Spain? And it's a fair question. I've spoken about the reasons why I chose Portugal in previous videos, but to be honest, it wasn't even on my radar when we were choosing where to live in the EU. In fact, we lived in Spain for several months before coming here. So, spoiler alert, I much prefer Portugal to Spain, and here's but five reasons why. Let me know if you think I got it right. Let's check it out. Before we get into it, I've noticed that 60 68% of you viewing aren't subscribed. It really, really helps me if you subscribe and it costs you nothing. Go on, click it, click it. You know you want to. One of the first things that struck me when we crossed the border into Portugal and started exploring was the effortless beauty of Portuguese villages. Most villages throughout the country are well kept and characterized by traditional buildings. There are usually beautiful churches and homes built from materials sourced locally. And it can be quite easy to tell where you are in the country simply by looking at the architectural style and the materials used for building. Now I'm not saying that Spain doesn't have some pretty traditional villages. It does, but the majority look as though they're almost exclusively recently and cheaply built in block style. I can remember remarking to my wife that the biggest surprise for me in Spain was that villages there looked similar to villages back in Hong Kong, whereas villages in Portugal look like what I thought villages in Spain would look like. People take pride in their villages here and the majority of homes are brightly painted and improvements are mostly sympathetic to the architectural style and them of the village. You're unlikely to see litter on the street or signs of vandalism. You can feel a real sense of pride when you come home from the cafe. So another thing that struck us was the investment in public spaces in Portugal. And I'm talking mostly about parks and hiking areas, that type of thing. So when you go into Portugal, you will find well-kept parks that often have nice, nice picnic tables and other features that make them very usable for family gatherings or just chilling out on sunny days. Public swimming pools are cheap and modern. Skate parks and public basketball courts are free to use and free of graffiti. Another thing we enjoy as keen hikers is how well-kept and how well signposted official trails are in Portugal. Where necessary, you will find extensive systems of wooden boardwalks, and these can be found along the coast and inland. In Spain, we sometimes felt like you had to almost abseil down to some of the beaches or climb down boulders. Portugal usually has thoughtfully constructed wooden walkways with railings and steps that make it much easier, especially with families. Local authorities deliver sand to river beaches and set up public umbrellas for people to use. Again, the beaches are extremely well kept and the water in the river is usually crystal clear and free of rubbish. While we really have seen a few water snakes in Portuguese rivers, we've never seen any of the um, brown eels that we saw in the Spanish Sea. We found Spain to be very dirty. I really don't know where to begin. Okay, let's start with the graffiti. Now I'm not saying that Portugal is graffiti free. It isn't, but Spain takes graffiti to a whole other level. Not only is almost every square inch of it covered in graffiti, it is of the ugliest and most thoughtful type of graffiti. Graffiti can sometimes be beautiful. This is just badly stylized names and it's everywhere. For me, Spain looks as though a giant baby was sat down on it with crayons and left unsupervised. We saw litter everywhere. All kinds of litter, broken glass, general trash, but for us, the worst was the beaches. On two separate occasions we saw, and obviously we can't be 100% sure, but what looked like human feces floating in the water while we were swimming. And from what I've heard since, this is a real known problem in Spain, where raw sewage is often pumped out into the sea. There was also often feces on the beaches from dog, and dog feces are everywhere. People just don't clean up after their dogs. We have dogs and we carry plastic bags to pick up their feces. It's not difficult, it's really not difficult. So there you have it, Spain, where you swim with feces, walk in feces, and every surface is covered in childish scribbles. 
I'd been to Spain before, and like many Brits, it had been city breaks. Barcelona, Seville, Madrid, Benidorm, Valencia. So imagine my shock when we started to explore Spain by car and realised that much of Spain is more or less desert. Sometimes I half expected to see cowboys on horseback. Really, once you get out of the cities, it's like being in the old wild west. Portugal, for a country with a much smaller landmass, has so much more green space and so much more diversity of landscape. From the rugged cliffs and beautiful beaches of the Algarve to the plains of the Alentejo, the snow-capped peaks of the Serra de Estrella Mountains, the forests of the north, and the Atlantic-battered Silver Coast with its massive surf and compelling seafaring history, the fertile valleys of the Douro, not to mention the Azores and Madeira. There is a lifetime of exploration in one compact package that is Portugal. We didn't live in Spain for long, but we were there long enough to make a few friends. Look, I'm not that guy who has a million friends, but I guess you know by now that I'm no shrinking violet either. I find it pretty easy to make friends, and I have friends from all walks of life. Rich, poor, young, old, gay, straight, different ethnicities, you name it. Now, in the immortal words of the Backstreet Boys, I don't care who you are, I don't care where you're from, and I don't care what you've done, as long as you love me, baby. When we were leaving Spain, I said to my wife, it's a shame really, because we've just started to make friends. And it was then that it struck me who our friends were. Other Brits, Russians, Ukrainians, Dutch, French. We'd literally met no Spanish people, but we lived in a mixed area. It's not as though there weren't many Spanish people around us. It's just that they stuck together and ignored us. In Portugal, guess what? I have actual Portuguese friends. I swear, as soon as we came over the border into Portugal, the difference in attitude was palpable. Bom dia! People are just super friendly and they want to help you. Let me tell you a little story. I like to tell this story because it makes people cringe a little. But you know me, I have more front than Albufeira. So when we arrived in Portugal, we stayed at an Airbnb in Lagoa in the Algarve. Airbnbs don't have post boxes, so we couldn't provide an address for our residency certificates. I found out that a local person could sign a statutory declaration at the Junta Freguesia as a way to get this address proof. I was so desperate to get this done. Do you know what I did? Man, I walked out onto the street and the first woman I saw, I said, excuse me, do you speak English? She did. I explained my situation and she agreed to sign the statutory declaration for me if I showed her my passport, etc. I needed two signatures and the other came from the cafe owner on the corner. I just couldn't believe it. On the off chance that either of these two women are watching, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Also, bloody hell, you're way too trusting. So that is but five ways that Portugal is better than Spain. Believe me, I'm very sure there will be several follow-ups to this video. What other ways is Portugal better than Spain? Let me know in the comments. Also, are there any ways that Spain is better than Portugal? Contra Controversial, I know, but you know me, Portugang. I will go there. I will go there. If you like this type of content and you're new around here, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps me. And if you liked the video, please give it a like. Muito obrigado, amigos. Ciao.